everyone. So we actually got a surprise today, which was the release of four brand new cards. Uh, so very exciting here. This is part of a loot box that the Argent Saga team is going to start pumping out. Apparently, there's going to be a monthly subscription for this game, which is pretty cool. Um, this loot box comes with these uh, a play set of each of these, so you'll get three of each of these cards, uh, along with other assorted items that they do not mention, but they said it's going to be well over the $100 value, which this will cost. So it's going to be 100 bucks. You'll get a play set of each of these and then extra things. So uh, whether or not that's a good deal remains to be seen, but let's take a look at these cards. So these are uh, heroes that we've already had in this game, and now they've kind of evolved or advanced their skills. So uh, the first one up is the Natsu Storm Surger Squire, and he's actually the first unit that has Instacast, which is really cool. So it's like Flash on a on a monster unit. Uh, if you're familiar with Magic, so he's a, he has a Storm Surger uh, subtype. Like I said, he has Instacast, and it says once per turn, expel an air card and a water card from your discard zone. Exhaust target unit, and if you do, recover one of your shards. Use this only while your opponent has three or more destroyed towers. So, uh, the first thing to mention here is all of these cards have synergy with uh, two different colors. So, you're only going to be using them if you're using a dual color deck. The Nazi specializes with air and water. Uh, that is a good combination. You do have some decent cards at your disposal for green and blue. Uh, some that kind of just came out. Uh, the first one is uh, that I can think of as Celestial Team-Up, which is pretty good. And then Enemy of My Enemy is also a good one. So uh, it's nice that this can fit into there. I do think an Aiton uh, Fizzy or Aiton Tux deck can be pretty viable. And this card is really good. It was... It was so close to being like fantastic, but they had to add that last line in there uh, <laughs> that uh, it only happens while your opponent has three or more destroyed towers. But uh, anyway, I think this is probably an instant three of. Uh, at least that's how I would run it. A uh, three cost unit with 2000 power uh, is not bad. It's once per turn, so yeah this is this is kind of like a souped up uh uh sky uh the cloud sea skyhawk uh, skyhawk the cloud sea yeah so very good you're recovering your shards which green needed desperately and being able to play this uh, from your hand is really cool during your opponent's turn or your turn <laughs> So the next one is GZ Blaze Rusher Square. So GZ has grown up a little bit. Another three cost unit, uh, 2000 power, all of them have that. He has a Blaze Rusher uh, arc, uh, subtype. And he has an arrive ability that says you may expel an air card from your discard zone and or a fire card from your hand. If you do, put an explosion counter on this card for each card expelled this way. So you can expel uh, just one or two cards. Uh, it says remove an explosion counter from a card you control, so it doesn't have to be him, and then this card gains quickness. So if you have another GZ on the field that has an explosion counter, you can remove that and give him quickness, so that's cool. Or you can remove two explosion counters from cards you control, destroy target tower you own, and target tower your opponent owns. So that is a very powerful ability and pretty easy to uh, attain, I think in my opinion. So uh, this is pretty cool. The only problem is you have to pair it with air. And right now I can't really think of a very good way of running uh, fire and air. But kite is a very good uh, spirit on its own. Uh, rain is also fantastic as a champion. So uh, you never know. Also in the future, uh, if we get some more air dragons, uh, dragon holt uh, could be a possibility uh, to run with air. So GZ, very cool. I really like this uh, interaction. I like how it kind of synergizes with the old GZ as well. Next we got Yuki Bright Veiler Squire. She has target attack, just like the uh, old unit. 
It says this card cannot be targeted by spells or abilities of cards with cost two or less. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think of cards that would deal damage to, uh, well, like Phantasmal Storm can't hit her. So that's kind of nice. Uh, Dust Strike, things, things of that nature. Uh, so that's cool. And it says expel a dark card and a light card from your discard zone and reveal this card from your hand. Put this card from your hand into play, and if you do exhaust target unit, your opponent controls. And then this also has the caveat of use only while your opponent has three or more destroyed towers, kind of like Nanatsu. Uh, this isn't bad. I think it's kind of one of the weaker ones between the first two that we've seen. Uh, dark and light is interesting. I do like how these cards kind of incentivize you to try different color combinations to utilize these powerful cards. So that's a... Nice little thing that they did there. I like that because right now the the meta is kind of stale. You know, it's just a lot of rain, uh, Serpio, and also Liam Serpio. So you don't have a whole lot of things going on. So sadly, this can fit into Liam Serpio. <laughs> um, but let's let's see here. Uh, yeah, kind of being a Insta cast card as well, similar to Nanatsu, is very nice. It's disruption, um, but it doesn't really do a whole lot other than the target attack and not being targeted by spells or abilities. I still think it's good, but uh, compared to the first two that we saw, it seems a little underwhelming. And then the last one is Ash, Tide Melder Squire. He has a Tide Melder sub archetype, and it's kind of hard to read his effect here, but we're going to try our best. Um, it says, your fire and water spells cost one less to play while your opponent has three or more destroyed towers. Okay, so the three or more towers, uh, same thing with Yuki and Nanatsu on Ash here. But both your fire and water spells cost one less. So that is very good because we got a bunch of very strong fire spells um, in Ascension. So, wow, this is fantastic. And it says, once per turn... Expel a fire card and water card from your discard zone. Deal 1,500 to target unit, and if you do, draw a card. So, man, I think Ash is really good. Wow, this is really good. Um, I mean, dealing 15 and then also drawing a card while also making your things cost one less to play. Wow, this one, I think this one is very good. The only issue here is... Water and fire is very interesting combo. Um, and water is traditionally more of a control deck, so it's going to be hard to kind of break towers early, which would make this card very good. Um, but hey, you know, this, this card gives you the option to build something different and maybe go aggro. So, wow, these, this is really cool. I will have a lot of fun trying to build new decks with these guys. So, um yeah, this was some surprising news, guys. I'm sure everyone was excited to see them. Uh, and let me know what you guys think. Do you think they're going to make a big impact? Are they going to change up the meta at all? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Zeppelin out.